What's going on today, guys? We're back, we're making more recipes, and this one is one you're gonna to wanna to make. It's one we all love. I'm talking about eggplant manicotti. Now, I actually am Italian, you might not know that. I've only had this dish like a few times, and I had it at like Buca de Beppo, which I feel like most Italian people would be like, that's not Italian food. But it is really delicious, and they give you just like the biggest portions ever, so I do like it quite a bit. But uh, we're gonna make this a lot healthier, equally as delicious, and it's really easy. There's a few things you can use to replace like pasta noodles, and I'm using the term replace very loosely, but we're gonna be using eggplant. I think it's probably your best bet. You can also use zucchini. Both of those will work kind of interchangeably. You just want the thickness. You want the girth of the eggplant. That's why that's why we're using that's why we're using it today. You guys have heard of the emojis. Now we're talking about the actual vegetable. I feel like I'm just firing on all cylinders comedically today. Are my jokes hitting? First step is gonna to be to make the filling. So it's a ricotta cheese based filling. You gotta actually do some digging when you're buying ricotta cheese at the grocery store. You wanna definitely look for like original or whole milk is what it will say. But you also have to check that they're not adding a bunch of sugar to it. The lowest I've been able to find is two grams of carbs per quarter cup. Um, if you get like the part skim ricotta cheese, those are gonna be a lot higher in carbs and a lot lower in fat. So it's just not quite as good for a keto diet. So to start, we're gonna use two cups of ricotta cheese and this might make a little bit more filling than you're actually gonna need. Depending on how big of a like casserole dish you plan on making yours in, this is relatively small, probably enough for like three people. I'm gonna do one and a half cups, not a full two. And then we're gonna do three quarters of a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. And then just some seasonings. You can use whatever seasonings you like. This is the mix of seasonings I found to be really good. I love doing red pepper flakes instead of like black pepper when I do Italian dishes. So about a half teaspoon worth of that, but honestly as much spice as you like. About a teaspoon of granulated garlic, garlic powder. You can also use uh, real minced garlic if you want to. A teaspoon of oregano, we're using dried oregano. That gives it a real nice like Italian flavor. A half teaspoon of rosemary, I love rosemary. Mega actually makes fun of me for how much I like rosemary. And then a half teaspoon worth of salt. It's pretty salty with the Parmesan cheese and the ricotta cheese. There's a little bit of salt in both of those, but I like adding a little more. It's not quite salty enough for me. This is your filling mixture. We're just going to combine this, mix it all around, make sure it's evenly distributed. Comment below if you guys have been to Buca de Beppo. It's a really cool restaurant to say. Have you been to Buca de Beppo? Yeah. What'd you get? We just got a bunch of stuff, I don't remember. Like Alfredo for sure. Alfredo. I'm really basic when it comes to pasta. I would always get penne with Alfredo sauce and like some Parmesan cheese on top. I don't like doing the long noodles. It's just such a hassle to eat. Okay, now we have our eggplant here. All you have to do with the eggplant is just chop it down to size. And we're gonna use one of these mandolins. If you don't have one, you can just use a knife and try slicing the eggplant thin, but you want about this size of eggplant, so at least you can roll it over the filling. Mega's telling me to cut the eggplant in half, so let's do that. Probably a good strategy. It doesn't quite fit. I cut it to the size of the mandolin. I didn't realize they made mandolins for babies. Okay. Be careful you don't chop your hand off. You're gonna want probably like 15 to 20 of these. Okay, so let's just check and see if we got enough. Not all of them come out well. I'm really not great at using the mandolin. The benefit to using the mandolin is you get these really thin pieces that you can bend around the filling. If you have to use a knife, you don't have a mandolin, and you're not able to roll the eggplant around the filling, you can like bake it in the oven until it softens a little bit for like five minutes, just on low heat. A lot of people have trouble finding good marinara sauce for keto. Basically, all of them are gonna be somewhat carb dense, but you can find ones with no added sugar. That's about as good as you can do. Rayo's brand is a good one. It's just pretty pricey. This is like nine or 10 bucks, which is, you know, extravagant. But uh, there's a few other ones in the grocery stores. Victoria is another brand. That's usually like half the price and it's the same amount of carbs. You know you have a good marinara sauce when there is no added sugar on the ingredient. Just so you guys know, per half cup, this is four carbs. We are gonna use about a half cup 
as the base layer here, you wanna lay down a good base. Making manicotti is a lot like going out for a night of drinking. You gotta get a good base. Spread that around. Now it's time to assemble. So we're just gonna take our filling. We're gonna take our eggplant. Let's find the good ones. Huh, are there any good ones? I like to fill these up pretty, pretty big. You mainly just wanna be eating cheese. You don't even wanna know there's any veggies involved. Just spoon and roll. And then place it just so. I like to make a line down the middle first. Grab another spoon and roll. Okay, so there we go. We got them all jammed in here. Just jam as many as you can. Like, honestly, they don't have to be perfectly wrapped because the final product, you just kind of like scoop it out with a spoon anyway. So it doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna top this with another half cup of marinara sauce. So that's gonna bring it to a total of one full cup. To finish it off, we're just gonna top it with about another quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. This just makes it look nice and taste great. They haven't seen Miley in a while. Show them Miley. She's ready for the manicotti. All right, so there it is. We're gonna put this in the oven. It only takes about 15 minutes. So we're gonna put this in at 400 degrees for 15 minutes, we'll be back. Okay guys, it's been 15 minutes at 400. We're gonna pull this out, let's see how it looks. Oh, it's bubbling. Check that out. So we are gonna let this cool for about probably 10 minutes and then I'll give this a try. Mega was giving me a good tip. Actually, I would recommend this. The first time I made this, there was not as much liquid in it. You can see there's a little bit of liquid, right? Probably not ideal. That comes from the marinara sauce, the, the eggplant, and a little bit from the ricotta cheese. The first time, I think my eggplant was older. It just like wasn't as watery. Maybe that's why there wasn't as much uh, water in it at the end. But what you can do is you can slice the eggplant with a mandolin, salt it, let it sit out for a few minutes and then pat it dry and that'll remove some more moisture from this so you won't end up with it watery on top. We are gonna give this a try. Let's get in there, grab a few of them. Now check this out guys, look at that. Look at that. Oh baby, it smells exactly like manicotti too. These in half. This is like really hot too still. We're eating Italian food. We're a Boca de Beppo. This is the best. So easy and incredibly delicious. This is probably the best like Italian food replacement I've had on keto. You get a little bit of the eggplant taste at the start. Other than that, it's like 100% on point. You can make this in under 30 minutes. That's all there is to it, guys. Italian food's back on the menu. You don't have to go to Boca de Beppo anymore. That's the last time I'm going to say it. You can make this at home. Recipe, instructions, all the ingredients we use are linked in the description below. Check out our food blog, ketoconnect.net. It has all of our recipes on there. Thanks for watching.